There it is. There's the system we've been talking about for the past couple of days. It's getting close. Some snow showers from Columbus uh, as you go up to pretty much Detroit, back into Chicago, Milwaukee. And then as you get between Chicago and St. Louis, we have that transition to some freezing rain, a mix of rain and snow. And then all over to rain, and this whole mess is moving towards us. So we're going to get each part of this moving through western Pennsylvania. We're going to get snow. We're going to get a mix, which could have some freezing rain, and we're going to get some rain. Right now, we have just cloudy skies. Where you get these clear reports, these are automatic reporting stations. And they don't like to read those high clouds too well, but we already have the high clouds stretched across the area. Lower clouds here in Pittsburgh, and you can see the same case in Cambridge and out towards Akron and Cleveland. No nearby snow reports just yet, but that precipitation is continuing to move towards us. And uh, when it comes down to it, we are going to see these snow showers winning out as we go through time into late tonight. So these uh, snow showers start building in here uh, about uh, two, three o'clock. They come up to the state line and then they're going to continue to spread across the area as we head into early tomorrow morning. Now these temperatures uh, are going to be cold enough on the onset where this is coming in as just mainly snow. But when it comes to what happens mid morning, that's where we, may, we start making the transition and then we're going to be over to all rain. So here's how it works. You can see those snow showers start to arrive right around 4 a.m. And at 4 a.m. we're looking at that steady snow to continue. Now getting up to about 9 a.m. This is where we make the transition to rain and then 10 o'clock. In the evening, we go back to snow as that cold air works in. I'm going to take you on a closer view of how this is expected to work out. So midnight, snow showers just to our west, so that's basically where they are now. Once we get to 2, 3 o'clock, snow showers through Pittsburgh. Some of these steady, if not heavy, into tomorrow at about 9 a.m. Still snow, but starting to make that transition to that wintry mix. And again, this mix could have some freezing rain. Then it goes over to all rain at lunchtime and then moves on as we go through the day as just rain pretty much area wide by mid afternoon. And then we're going to see those snow showers turning back on in the evening once we get past 10 o'clock and that colder air starts to work in. But keep in mind, everything's going to be wet from the rain and you can't treat while it's raining. So the wet stuff as those temperatures fall could become icy. Now accumulation wise, one to three inches for Pittsburgh. A lot of this gets washed away once that rain turns on. Two to four inches from uh, 422 up to I-80. Four to six north of that and less than an inch south of I-70. So this isn't big snow and most of it's going to get washed away. However, while it's happening and while that mix is happening, you're going to have some slick travel. But those rain showers turn on as we head into the afternoon. So tonight you're looking at temperatures at 25 degrees, basically where they stand right now. They're going to hold steady through the night. Those snow showers turn on in the next few hours. Tomorrow, 45 degrees. That mix goes to rain, and then that rain turns back to snow by Sunday. A little windy and 25 degrees. That's it. Very cold Sunday with lake effect snow showers. We dry it up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but those colder temperatures stick around, and we bounce back towards the end of next week. And with all this going on, the KDK Weather app is a very important tool to have. It's free in the App Store and Google Play.